Hey, Playa, when it comes to liking someone, that's the easy part. It comes natural to us. But if we're talking about interacting with them, talking to them, and asking them out, that could be a little bit more tricky. So if you're the kind of person that overthinks that approach, overthinks how you should talk to them, I'm going to explain in very simple details how you can get that started and what you can do. This is the Just Beats. You're watching the Just Beats. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. Now, when it comes to making that first move, it's never an easy thing to do because there's always that fear of rejection on the other side. We don't know how to start that conversation. We don't know what to say. We don't know how they'll respond. There's so many unknown factors here that we could just end up spending the whole time in our heads thinking about how everything will go wrong. And if you're in that position, there are three simple things you can do to start just to get the ball rolling with your crush just to get them to acknowledge you and for you to acknowledge them so you guys can have some kind of interaction first things first focus on making eye contact making eye contact allows you to establish a presence with them they recognize that you're there you recognize that they're there no one's kind of looking down or looking away or pretending like they don't see the other person and if you want to make your eye contact mean something make sure to hold that gaze with them for a few seconds don't just look at them and as soon as they look back look away because doing that displays a lack of confidence so by holding that eye contact gaze, you're showing them that I'm confident enough to keep looking at you. Now, you don't just want to stare at them because that can be kind of creepy. So along with looking at them, make sure to smile. So many people just keep a deadpan face when they look at someone, but smiling establishes rapport. It shows them that you're welcoming, you're inviting them, and that you're happy to even be looking at them. Because to them, there's a major difference between a smiling person looking at them and a not smiling person looking at them. And the difference is pretty obvious. One of them looks friendly and the other one looks like a psycho crazy killer that's gonna attack them. See what I mean? Looking and smiling are good, but in order to make that interaction great, you have to establish some kind of verbal communication with them. So simply saying, hey, how's it going? What's up? Or any of those types of variations makes a difference. Now, some of you may see your crush from a distance or they're off hanging out with friends or they're just kind of sitting alone and you're not really sure how to approach them. You don't know how to build up the confidence to kind of pick up your own two stone feet that are attached to the ground and just start moving them over to your crush. So in those cases, I would simply follow the three second rule. Like I mentioned in a previous video, the three second rule is as simple as this. As soon as you spot your crush, give yourself no more than three seconds to walk up to them and say hi. Usually what happens is when a person spots their crush, they see them, they want to talk to them, but they never actually start moving towards them. So they just sit there and start overthinking. Well, what am I going to say when I get there? How are they going to respond? Am I going to look weird? Is it going to be awkward? All these different thoughts creep into your mind, all because you've never actually walked up and took the initiative to go talk to them in that moment. Trust me on this, walking up to them and talking to them will give you much better results than if you were to just stand in the background and think things over in your head. When you think things over, you're never going to reach a positive outcome. But in person, that's something that might actually happen. And the purpose here isn't for you to walk up to your crush, say hi to them, and suddenly they're in love with you. They want to go out with you and you guys are dating. It's simply to establish a rapport, to build a connection with them, to get them to at least acknowledge you. The most effective way to overcome overthinking is to replace it with action. Once you take action, you now have an outcome to actually work with. Okay, you made eye contact, you smiled, you followed the three seconds rule and walked over to them and you said hi now what do you do how do you actually carry a conversation and what do you actually talk to them about well this is exactly why I put together my 20 icebreaker conversation starters in the guide I break down 20 different things that you can say to kind of carry a conversation forward each of these things focuses on just kind of learning a little bit more about that person's personality kind of really breaking down that awkward tension you guys have and just making things more lighthearted and open for example once you've gone over all the other steps and you already said hi, you might want to lead into a story slash question and say something like, hey, my parents have been thinking about getting a cat or a dog, so I wanted to get your opinion. Which is a better house pet? Your crush would give their answer, and then from there you can take it in a million other directions. You can ask them if they've ever had a pet growing up, what's a really good pet name, or anything of that nature. You can even shift the conversation to something else from the icebreaker starters guide. The point is, if you're the kind of person that's overthinking making that first move, it's not as difficult as you think it is. All you have to do is take each little step. Check them off as you go through them and as you interact more and more with your
your crush, you'll start to see how easy it is to just start a conversation with another human being. I know the fear is still there and I know it's very real, but I think this is the most practical way that you can approach this situation for it to work as effectively as possible. But what do you think though? Are you someone that overthinks making the first move when it comes to talking to your crush? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. Now, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Make sure also to turn on the notification bell so you can know exactly when I post a new video. All week long, we're gonna be talking about overthinking, so if that's something you struggle with, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the videos I have later on in the week. On that note, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow. As always, love and peace.